Hi, this is a demonstration of a vacuum fluorescent display hooked up to a Raspberry Pi. The display board's over here. Raspberry Pi is over there. I wrote a little demo program that I can use to do a few things. So, for example, I can clear the screen. I can write hello world to it. I can go to the second line. Right, Scott was here. Now the vacuum fluorescent display is hooked up via four of the Raspberry Pi's I.O. pins. They are the SPI port, and there is a master out, slave in. There is a master in, slave out, a clock, and a chip select. Technically, you don't need the master in, slave out. If all you want to do is write to the display, it's only necessary if you uh, want to read from the display. So you could get this down to just three I.O. pins. The other thing it runs off of is uh, ground and five volt. So this little module came from, uh, I believe it came from China. I got it on eBay. I did have to solder two headers to it. One is a six pin header up here that has the power and the SPI pins. And the other is this uh, two pin jumper down here. This jumper tells it to work in SPI mode rather than parallel mode. Uh, one last thing to mention is this 1K resistor here. This is on the Raspberry Pi's master out slave in line. And the reason for that is because the VFD is operating in a three pin uh, SPI mode, whereas the Raspberry Pi is operating in a four pin SPI mode. And it would be a potential short circuit if the Raspberry Pi was to output a high on this pin while the VFD was outputting a low on this pin. It could cause uh, excessive current to be drawn on one of the ports. So the 1K resistor protects against that and lets us use this three-wire SPI interface here with four-wire SPI interface over there.